Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you an aggressive attacking game played by German chess player Heinrich Wagner. During his career Wagner competed at four chess Olympiads and he would earn international master title in 1953. His opponent is his compatriot Ludwig Rellstab who would become German champion in 1942 and would earn international master title in 1950. Meanwhile, this is year 1930 and the game was played in Polish city Svinemunde. Uh, without further ado now, let's get started with the game. Wagner opened up with e4 to which Rellstab answered with knight f6. Alochen defense is on the board, e5, knight d5, d4, d6, knight f3 and g6. Black is going for Albert variation. Knight g5 with this active knight jump White already has something very creepy in his mind. Yeah, White is now threatening. Knight takes f7. And uh, strangely, Black neglected that threat and played h6. Uh, theory recommends d takes e5 or c6. For example, in 1988, this was the move that Mikhail Tal made in a game against Lyubomir Lyubojevic. And then f6 was made by Tal. The game finally ended in a draw, but in this game we see h6. And without hesitating, white went for a knight sacrifice on f7. All black could do was to accept the sacrifice and we have queen f3 check. Now can you understand the idea of c6? You are not only securing the c7 square for the knight, but what is more important, you are protecting it and already this queen f3 is not dangerous, you can play for example king g7, that's why at this point we see knight f6 answer and e takes f6, e takes f6 bishop c4 check, uh, white is developing the bishop with the tempo and all in all of course yes, white has a dominating position and a clear advantage. Knight e2, white wants to transfer his knights on f4 from where it can target black king. Knight d7, bishop f4, knight f8, queen g3. Yeah, this is a nice move, both putting pressure down the g-file, also attacking the bishop, after which an exchange of bishops on f4 followed and white knight occupied an aggressive attacking square f5 neutralizing the threat, rook fe1, rook g8, black is somehow trying to consolidate the position but that's very difficult you know, there comes c4, d takes c4, well if you allow c takes d5 then rook e5 will follow and how on earth are you going to protect the pawn? Black played d takes c4 but this allowed the light squared bishop to occupy a very essential diagonal and create further problems for his opponent. So we reached the critical position and at this point please pause the video and try to find how Heinrich Wagner uh, concluded the attack. Uh, ready? Well everything is ready for the final blow and uh, Mr. Wagner, Herr Wagner played a fantastic rook e8 move. Uh, he's relying on the fact that soon a fork tactic can appear on the board. For example, if you accept the rook sacrifice, then check, and then knight f6 fork can follow. And now suddenly it turns out that there are no good squares for black queen. Black played queen g5. Matt, this can't help him, queen e3, and now the threat is rook e7 check. What is interesting at this point, Stockfish suggests a fantastic move, uh, you can give a try to find it, which Wagner missed. Of course, queen e3 is also winning, but uh, the move suggested by Stockfish is just marvelous and you will adore it. So, the move is h4, yeah, harassing black queen further. If queen takes g3, then rook e7 check, and then rook f7 checkmate. That would have been great from Mr. Wagner to make that move, right? Instead we see queen e3, and after h5, queen e5 check, resignation followed. 
So yeah, by playing queen e3 white not only threatened a rook e7, but also queen e5 and at this point resignation followed. If for example king h7, then rook e7, and you should give up your queen or the rook. Uh, checkmate is just a matter of moves. That's why here yeah, after queen e5 check resignation followed. So this was a nice attack by Heinrich Wagner. And this line with knight g5 can actually be problematic for black if your opponent doesn't know the theory well. In case of bishop g7 again, knight f7 works and this is a really good way of starting an early attack. Uh, in the end the chess puzzle for you where the task is to win with the white pieces. As usual we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. This is a famous position taken from Zuckertort versus Blackburn game, played in 1883. Many of you might know the position. Uh, anyways, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Try to finish up uh, Black King. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in my next video.